See, now that's a color combination only he can get it away with. What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freak and geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the fans' toys, Chomp! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. Here we have some lovely artwork of Mr. Chomp in his robot mode, in his alt mode, FT-51. On this side, we have Chomp. On the other side, we have Chomp. On the top, hey, look, it's Chomp. On the bottom, hey, look, it's Chomp. On the back of the box... You have your obligatory product shots, and you have a nice lengthy bio. If you want to read it, you can read that on your own time. And that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card, with a nice image there of Mr. Trump. And on the back, you have some more product shots, deck specs, the same bio that was on the back of the box. Hooray for cards. Then, moving right along, here we have Chomp, and this is Fans Toys Take on Skull Cruncher, and here he is in his robot mode, and he looks really good, in my opinion. I think they did a fantastic job with him. He looks great, comes together beautifully. Um, yeah, I'm a fan. I am a fan of this figure, but let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his chomping crotch, but at his chomping noggin as the chomping noggin. You can see, very nicely done head sculpt here. You got the metallic red for the visor, yellow for the face. But overall, good looking face sculpt there. And you get the nice metallic green. And of course you have the pink there. Or is it my giant car? I don't know. <laughs> But some nice coloration here. I don't even know what color this is, but I like it. It's really nicely done. It's not silver. It's just, I don't know what color it is, but it's a nice color. I dig it. Again, I'm a fan. I am a fan. But you can see the legs here. He has big old feet. I believe his toes are die cast. There is die cast in this guy, as there is an all fans toys figure, so he has that little bit of heft, which is always nice. He has little beast mode toes hanging out the back there, which is accurate. And you can see the transformation is pretty clean. I mean, obviously you have the uh, the beast mode head back there, but that is accurate. That's supposed to be back there. So, all in all, comes together very, very nicely. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head can rotate, can do a full 360. He can look up a little bit, look down a little bit more, and that is pretty much it. Um, the shoulders are on a ball joints. They can rotate a full 360, move in and out. You also get some forward and back there. Uh, moving on down the arms, you get bicep rotation. He does have a double jointed elbow. So you get some nice range of movement there. Um, the wrists can rotate. He has poseable hands. Now the thumb is on a ball joint at the base and a hinge here. And each finger is on a hinge there and a hinge right there. So you have nice Poseable hands, ratcheted waist joints. You can move the flaps here to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move forward about that far, back about that far, outward. You can do the full splits, although the joint is not quite, it, it, it can hold, but sometimes it wants to drop. It's temperamental. Sometimes it can hold, sometimes it can't. But again, because there's die cast in the legs, you know, gives it extra weight. You do have thigh rotation. Uh, slightly under 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. And as far as the feet go, they can move up, they can move down. You do have ankle tilted, and you can also bring this heel down if you need it for any support. Now, as far as accessories go, you do get his blaster right here, which is done in that same color as what's on his body, and I love it. Again, don't know what color this is, but it's beautiful. Just beautiful. You get that little bit of black in there, which I do quite like. Gives a nice bit of contrast there. And I dig it. So you got that. And you also get his uh, tail slash sword weapon here. Not much to it. Very simplistic, but it's a big old just little, little thwacking, little thwacking thing. Little thing to thwack with. And... Of course, he can wield his weapons, and it's a typical tab in the slot of the palm method of weapon holding. Just put that in there, 
and give him the sword. The sword will only go in one way. Just tap that in, wrap his fingers around it, and there you go, he can, oops. There we go, he can pew pew, whack whack, pew pew, poke poke, although his wrist is a little loose, I'll have to tighten that up, but yeah, there he is with his weapons looking quite, quite cool. So there you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with Masterpiece Megs, and here he is with his buddies, Fans Toys, Mind Wipe, and Weird Wolf, and they look quite, quite good together, so there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first thing we need to do, since he is a headmaster, is we have to, uh, we gotta rip his head off. Oh, fatality. Put that off to the side, and now we can commence. Now, the instructions do leave some steps out, so there was some stuff I had to discover on my own. Uh, one of those things being, you push on these little panels here on his chest, and flip these around, and that reveals just little plates there. And you can open up his chest. Oh, and here is his, uh, his split strength meter. As you can see, it's not activated by the headmaster itself. It's just painted on, but there you go. He has his split strength. And you want to flip out this little panel right here, which can get stuck. There we go. It's not a pretty stiff joint there. Just flip that out. And leave that out like that for now. At this point now, we can bring his arms forward like so. And what's going to happen here is you're going to rotate the hands so they are palm up. Open up this panel and flip the hand in like so. Close that up and then bring the toesies up. Rotate 180 the bicep and compress in the arms. That's another step that's not in the instructions. Um, second verse, select first, rotate it up, open, flip, close, flip that up, rotate, compress, and there you go. So now we'll come back here to this head and you just untab this and just kind of swing it up and just leave that out of your way for now. So now what we are going to do is we are going to rotate the waist 180 and we can begin on the legs. So what we're going to do with the legs and the majority of the transformation of this guy is in his legs. So you want to bring the little hip skirt panels up. Bring the leg out, you want to rotate the leg 180. And what's going to happen here is you're going to flip in the heel and you're going to undo this panel like so. Fold this panel up like that. And then you're just going to, oh, before we do that, you're going to bring the foot down on this hinge right here. On this hinge rather, this upper one right up in there. Bring that down, and then you want to rotate the foot up. You see there's a little tab slot connection there. So rotate that up, and just straighten that out like that. Once you've done that, you can get these little toes out of the way. You can open all this up, and all of this will just drop down like so. Um, you also want to take this little panel right here, rotate this, so the green is now on the inside. You're going to take this leg here, you're going to pull it down, and then rotate it. Rotate it halfway, and then you're going to slide it in, continue the rotation, and then push it up like that, and that will lock it in place. And once you've done that, you can come to this panel here, flip this down, take this entire assembly, and flip that out. Then you can open up this panel here, and this little section here just unfolds like that. And once you've done that, you can take this leg here, just give it a quarter turn, so you can then swing all this up and close all that up. And you're going to leave it like that. So you're going to do the second... This is where my tongue stops working. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Second verse, just like the first. So, rotate it up. Close. Open. And bring down the foot. Rotate it, bring that down, 
get these little toesies out of the way. Open all of this up, like so, and rotate this little panel around, like that. Fold that in, and then pull that down. Rotate, slide up, rotate, slide in, voila. And come here, put this little panel down, swing all this out. Open that up, open that up, and, and just rotate that in so you can close all this back up. And there we go. So then we have the legs all situated here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up this section here, tabs in, a little wiggle, pull that out, and you have these little thin panels in here that you're just going to rotate upwards. Like that. And this is another step that's not in the instructions, these little side panels here. Do slide out. You can leave them in. You can leave them in for now and then slide them out last, but those do slide out. So what's gonna happen now is you're going to you basically want to bend the knee like one click so you have the clearance to swing all this in, and then you bring all this up, make sure the hip skirt comes back down, and you also want to rotate the foot in so you can clear this and just bring all this in like that and you can push that foot back up and you want to close this panel first so bring that down and close that up and then you can close this up and again just make sure everything the panel just tabs in like it's supposed to like that and then this section here will just fold in on itself like that and then this will tab in right in there like so close all that up and there you go and guess what you're going to do the same thing on the other side so bring that knee in just a click you have the clearance make sure that comes down this up swing that foot in now the thing here is you have a little less room to work since this is already in place so Just try to get things situated as best you can, because you have less real estate here to work in, so it's doable. It's doable. There you go. Close that up. Close that up. And there we go. We got both sides closed up there. Again, just close this bit in, like so. Bring that up. Tab that in there like that. Okay, so we're on our way. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to just bring this section down like so. And that will just tab in right there and secure itself into place like that. So now we can work on the beast mode head. This little section here of the neck will just, oops, make sure that's not in your way. It should not be. There we go. Like that. Rotate this down, and you have tab slot connection right there on either side. Just plug that in, and plug it in, and you have these two little panels here on the sides. Again, this is not in the instructions. That you rotate up, and rotate up like that, and it just kind of fills in that neck there. Then once you do that, you bring this down. That'll tab in right there to further lock all of that into place. So we are at the home stretch. So we are going to now bring in the bootular region and we're going to extend this at three points. It extends right here, right here, and right here. And that is where your articulation will come in. But just leave that straight so you can open up these side sections. Then you can rotate the handle around to reveal this connector. Close that back up. And you want to rotate this so that this tab right here is on top. Exactly where these little spikes are here. That's how you want that oriented. And now you're just going to sandwich this in between the two halves of his butt. And at this point now, we can tab everything together. And bring it all together in holy matrimony. And there you go. Now he has a tail. Hooray for tails! 
or right here. So there you go. And then we just rotate the leg around, bring the toesies forward, rotate, toesies, and get all that situated there. And then you just bring the front legs down, just kind of use those hinges there. And you can position these the legs however you want, that's up to you. There you go. Again, the last step here is these little side panels. Again, it, it, this is not a detrimental step, honestly. Like, yes, it leaves a little gap there, but it's not really a crucial step. But you can pull these pieces out, push these pieces out. And again, this is a step that's not in the instructions. There we go. You just slide those little side sections out. You can see it fills in those gaps. But again, I'm, I don't consider it a crucial step, but it's a, it's, a, it's a thing they want you to do. They don't tell you about it, but they want you to do it. <laughs> but there you go. And that is it. And there you have Chomp, a.k.a. Skull Cruncher, in his alt mode. You can't really spin that belt. It's okay. And there he is. And it is a very good looking beast mode in my opinion. I am a fan. I am a fan. Looks really good. Really, really good. I dig it. I dig it. It all comes together very nicely. Very solidly. And I think this is slightly off. That's why it's not cooperating. There we go. There we go. It's case of having everything lined up just right. Just right. There you go. But yeah, it looks good. It looks good. I like him. I like him very much. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at this new noggin of his. Very cool. See the teeth done in silver. Nice metallic red for the eyes there. You get that transclearing, that very dark tinted transclearing plastic there. A little cockpit section in his head. But yeah, all around. Very cool. Very, very nicely done. Got the tail there. Very nice. Very nice design. As far as I'm concerned. And there is the top. There is the bottom. Uh, he slides. As alligators, crocodiles, crocodiles should slide. <laughs> Hooray for sliding. Hooray for sliding animals. And for comparison, I'm sorry I don't have a G1 Skull Cruncher, so no precious comparison this time around. Sorry, but I do have his uh, his buddies here. So we can get a little group shot. Let's see if we can make this work. We'll try. We'll, tr we'll try our best. And we'll bring in Mindwipe. I don't know where Mindwipe's going to go. He has big wings. There we go. And he doesn't like to stand. There we go. There we go. That works out. There we go. Hey! We got them all in the frame. <laughs> but there you have the fans toys, Decepticon Headmasters there, and they look quite good together. Quite, quite good. So, there you go. Now, as far as articulation in beast mode goes, uh, the head can move up and down slightly. Um, it can rotate. You do get a little bit of side to side. The mouth can open. It reveals some nice detail in there. Uh, the front legs can rotate, can move in and out since these are the robot mode legs. Uh, the robot mode arms, obviously, you get that articulation in there. You have a double joint there. Toesies can move downward. Uh, the hind legs can rotate. And you have a double, double knee there. And again, the toesies can move downward. And as far as the toes go, I mean, as far as the uh, tail goes, rather, um, you have side-to-side -side movement here at the base, as well as rotation. And then this section here is on a ball joint, so you have rotation wiggly-waggly. And these sections here just move from side to side. So you get a decent amount of articulation there in the tail. 
So now let's talk about his head, because that's a thing that's still rolling around here. So now we can transform the headmaster here. So you're going to just untab his legs from his shoulders, bring those down like so, and the arms just untab from that back panel there. And there you go. There you have Brax in his robot mode. A nicely done little headmaster. I can work with it. Again, you got the yellow face there, nice metallic red for the eyes. Some nice detail there. And articulation wise, the head doesn't move, but the uh, shoulders are on the ball joints, they can rotate, they can move in and out. He's got an elbow and legs. Can move forward, can move back a little bit outward, not so much. A little bit of rotation there just at the ball joint. Got almost 90 degrees of bend at the knee, and his little feeties are on a ball joint so they can move up, down, and you have some tiltage, and you also can rotate them in if you need to. There he is, there's little Grax. You can see how that works out there. And if you want to, you can open up the beast noggin here. Open that up like so, and you have a whole cockpit in there. The chromed controls there. A couple paint apps. And we can just get Grax here into a seated position. And just drop them right down. Like so. And there you go. You can now pilot the Crocker Gator. So you got that going on. As far as storage for the blaster goes, uh, there's a port right here up top. You can put that down. And there you have your weapon storage. Hooray for weapon storage. So there you go. So there you have Chomp, and I really like this guy. I am a fan, definitely a fan of this figure. Oh, the robot mode looks great. The beast mode looks great. Um, the transformation, you know, it, the legs are the most involved part of the transformation, but nothing's, you know, overly complicated. It works out quite well. It all comes together beautifully, solidly. The only issue I have is a couple of slightly loose joints, but I can fix that up. But overall... Really well done figure, in my opinion. Quite, quite pleased with him, so. There you go! Now, if you would like this or any of Fans Toys' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Fans Toys Chomp, and this is M-Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face. Hey there, boss. Ah, Skull Cruncher! I, ah, what is that smell? You stink! I live in a swamp, what do you expect? I know, but still, you can at least, you know, try soap before you come in here. Jeez! <laughs> yeah, I don't see the problem.